with this. I knew I wanted to be a speech language pathologist. I started working for a local hospital working with pediatrics. Spider, can you find him? I also see children at my local synagogue preschool for speech therapy. Working with children is difficult, but I'm able to be successful as a therapist because I don't try to get them into my world. I wait till they let me into their world. Relationships, that's what it's all about. Tail or a snail? Years ago, I watched as my grandparents and then my parents made the choice to be leaders in the pro-Israel community. Growing up in Virginia Beach, my parents were going from this Federation meeting to this APAC meeting. And when I went away to Indiana University, you know, I was involved with Hillel. I was involved with APAC on campus. Leo and I met at APAC Policy Conference in 2002. And we spent three days lobbying together and sitting in sessions together and the rest is history. We settled in Miami, Florida, and we were approached by some friends to get involved with APAC. And it was wonderful to be a part of that world. Leo was born in St. Petersburg, Russia, and his family immigrated to the United States, to Minneapolis. Leo started to get involved with his family music business. The size of an instrument that was for here. And so he approached me one day and said, what are your thoughts about leaving Miami and moving to Minneapolis? My friends thought I was crazy. When we arrived in Minneapolis, it took some time. It was the worst winter in history, and I was sort of shell-shocked. But as we got settled, Leo and I went around to some of the leaders in the community to get them involved. And today we're bringing in people who are interested in being politically active, who are really interested in learning what it means to have a relationship with a congressman or a senator. And APAC here has grown tremendously. The fact is that for people who care about Israel, APAC gives us the best way to get involved. I will never forget sitting in the room with Senator Klobuchar and a bunch of others who have been coming to policy conference way longer than I have. And I decided to speak up and I told her that I have a sister who lives in Israel. And when she calls me after a siren goes off, I'm waiting every second for that phone call. And I wanted her to know that a constituent of hers sitting in her office has family living in Israel and it affects, you know, my every being. Since then, I've seen Senator Klobuchar at various events, and I hope to have a long relationship with her and work together with her. And I think those one-on-one -on -one relationships is really what it's all about. Use your muscles, and then turn, 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 turn. As a mom, and I'm a new mom, and as a working mom, my days sometimes blend together but Leo and I have made it a priority for Jewish life and for Jewish activism. Whether it's going to events after Eli's asleep or early breakfast meetings, you know, we make that a priority. I choose to lead because I want my children to see the meaning in taking a stance and fighting for what you believe in and being a role model for them. From generation to generation, Lador Vador, that's what it's all about. Be a leader. Are you going to be a leader? You are, right?